Hi, come on in. Hi. Have a seat. Thanks. Thanks for coming in to speak with me. How you doing? Oh, oh well, you know, okay, I guess. <laughs> Too busy as usual. Mm -hmm. I am really looking forward to going away for a month with Diane and the kids. <laughs> Two more sleeves. I hear you. Nice. Listen, the reason I want to speak with you today is because I received a complaint from the son of a patient that you saw last week, Mrs. Bergman. She passed away yesterday, and this complaint was on my desk this morning. Oh. You saw them about goals of care, and apparently what the son took away was the hospital was refusing to treat his mom. Oh, my gosh. I knew this would be a train wreck. Were you maybe feeling a bit apprehensive about the situation? <sighs> okay. This is what happened. Um, I'm on site overnight, mm -hmm. and I got a call from one of the nurses on 5 North saying that, uh, you know, they came in at 7 a.m., usual time, and they found the son of this particular patient climbing the walls because his mother had been admitted to an alternative level of care, which, as far as I know, as far as I remember, was only because there wasn't a bed in orthopedics. The family doctor's away on vacation, uh, and nobody has documented any discussion on the goals of care. And with good reason, I, I guess, because really we all know that they're going to want everything possible for this poor old soul. Anyway, the, the nurse reminds me that uh, the patient has a, a life-limiting illness or three, and uh, the policy says, and blah, blah, blah. So I agree to go down and talk to them. I walk into the room, and the only thing on my mind is confirming what I already know they're going to ask for. But I see the patient, and I know instantly that oh, I owe it to this poor lady to spare her as much suffering and pain and mm -hmm. indignity as possible. So I decide to try and get across a few of the options, you know, before they ask for every possible intervention. Just, well, anyway, that's what I try to do. And before I can get into the first sentence, the son goes bananas. He's claiming that uh, I and the hospital are refusing his mom treatment and threatening to bring forth a formal complaint. Uh, so I, I back off, I say, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, if that's, that's the way you want it, then uh, that's what we're going to do. I was only trying to help. Wow. Sounds like the whole thing was pretty stressful for you. And I'm wondering if maybe you're feeling a little bit upset and maybe you were wanting to have your helpful intentions understood. Yeah. Maybe not upset. Maybe more discouraged. Mm -hmm. I feel for the guy. I mean, losing your mom is devastating, and who knows what else is going on there. But... <sighs> so you're feeling pretty discouraged? And I'm also hearing how much you care for the patient and her family, and I'm wondering if you would like acknowledgement of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I, I mean, I never intended any of this to happen. Yeah, Definitely didn't intend it to end like this. And all I really wanted to do was spare the poor old woman some pain and suffering. I honestly feel like oh, I'm just too exhausted to be able to effectively deal with, with this sort of complaint right now. Can it wait until I come back from my vacation? I mean, I would love to sit down with the family doctor and with the son and set things right, mm. but I just, I, I don't know that I can even think about something like this right now. Yeah, I hear you. Sounds like you're pretty tired right now and you could use some much needed rest and some time away. And I also understand you want to take the time to make a thoughtful response to the 
son and show him the respect you have for him. And I really do appreciate that. But I also know that you're going to be away for a month. And I'm guessing that Mr. Bergman probably wants a response sooner rather than later, or an acknowledgement at least. So I'm wondering if we can find a way to meet your needs of some rest and take care of what I'm guessing are his needs right now. So look, here's an idea. I could write something up based on what you've told me today and see, you know, if you'd be willing to check over what it says and, and see if you like it. Uh, look, Jill, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I just don't know really what I have to bring to the table and for something like this. Okay. Well, I understand how tired you're feeling right now. And maybe a bit overwhelmed. But I'd really like to help. So why don't we just work on it together right now, just for a couple minutes. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Great. Well, you know, look, why don't I just type up some of the points that you've told me and you just let me know if other things come to mind and we'll just put something down on paper real quick, okay? Okay. Great.